the amount of memes I've seen in the last 24 hours about this pack. All I see is furries. I just got home from the dentist and half of my face is literally frozen. So if I sound a little weird, that's probably why. Now let's get into the tutorial. As always, we're starting with requirements. To participate in this tutorial, you'll need Sims 4 Studio, Blender, and a 2D editing software. I'll put the download links in the description. Now this is what I want to make. Now in order to make it, First, open Sims for Studio. It looks kind of like this. Like I said, we want to make this plumb up. So that will be an object, which is right here. And then you have all these things that you can choose from. We're making a mesh, so select 3D mesh. Once you've done that, this catalog loads. What I need is a wall decoration object as my base. Now I decided to use this cute little cow. You guys can use any wall object, really. I would only suggest choose the object that will be similar to your object in size. Once you got it, select it and click Next. Right now you're saving a .package file. So that file is a file that goes into your mods folder. Save that. And then Studio will bring you here. We're making a mesh, so right here where the tabs are, go to meshes. Once you're in the meshes tab, click the green button that says export mesh. Right now you're saving the blender file. This is the file that we're gonna use for 3D modeling. Once saved, open the blender file. You can rotate your object by using left button on your mouse. Now here to the side at the top is where you have all elements of your scene. What matters to you for this tutorial are these two Studio Meshes. So Studio Mesh 0 and Studio Mesh 1. And to edit them, you first need to enter Edit Mode. You can do this by clicking this triangle next to it. Now I want to edit our actual object, so this cute little cow, which is called Studio Mesh 1. So I select the little triangle to enter Edit Mode. First thing I need to do is to get rid of the cow. I have nothing against this cow, I think she's cute, but I do need to delete it to fit my plumb up. First select all by pressing A on your keyboard. When your object is orange like this, this means that it is selected. Once everything is selected, press X on your keyboard. Then this menu pops up and you select vertices. And the cow is gone. Right here at the top, you'll have this plus sign, so click that. And then you have so many different options here. Good news, you only need one. You're going to look for the one that's called Background Images. Once you've found it, tick the box and open the drop-down menu. Now click Add Image. Right now, just look for your image. You can click up here to get a better view of what you're choosing. I want this plumb up. This is just a regular Sims 4 plumb up that I got from EA. To insert it, double click. Where is it? Now, don't panic, the image we just inserted is a 2D image and we are working on a 3D space. So the image is there, it's just that we don't see it. So just press number 1 on your numpad. And there is your image. Okay, so now I can start tracing. First, make sure you're still in edit mode on the Studio Mesh 1. Right here in the side menu, choose Create tab and then choose Plane. Right now, if your plane looks like mine, you'll probably need to rotate it. So while the plane is selected, press R on your keyboard. R is for rotate. First, press X on your keyboard for X axis and then choose the angle which for me will be 90 degrees. So to get it to rotate 90 degrees on the X axis, simply press 90 or well, nine and then zero. And there you go. Now deselect all by pressing A. Now I will right click 
on one vertice to select it. Then press X on your keyboard. Choose vertices. Now I want to move my vertices to create a plumb up. Select a vertice by right clicking on it. Then to move it, press G on your keyboard. G is for grab. Once you have it where you want, left click. Go to another vertice, right click to select it and G to move it. Put it where you want and left click. And now do the same with the last vertice. Right click to select it, G to move, drag where you want it and left click to secure it. Now I will need some additional vertices so that I can continue tracing. The way to do it is to right click on this vertice to select and then press E on your keyboard. E is for extrude and another vertice pops up. Again, put it where you want it and left click to secure it. Now I'll just need to connect these two and to do that, make sure both are selected. Again, right click to select, hold shift and right click on another vertice and then press F on your keyboard. F is for fill and it's connected. Right now I'm going to add some more vertices using the exact commands that I had just shared. So select by right clicking, press E to extrude, place it where I want. To connect vertices, press F. Select by right clicking, press E to extrude, place it where I want. To connect vertices, press F. Once done, I'm going to select all by pressing A and fill the lines by again pressing F on my keyboard. Again, F is for fill. Now I want to make it 3D. So select these two vertices, go to the side view by pressing number three on your numpad and drag the selected vertices using the green arrow. Now you might want to scale the object down a bit because it is quite large. To scale, simply press S on your keyboard, S is for scaling, and make it smaller. I'm also going to position it using arrows. I want it to be right next to the wall, so drag it right next to it. Okay, now UV mapping. UV mapping will be a map that we'll use to make our own texture. Now this is a very simple object, and we can do some very simple UV mapping. First, go to the front view. To enter front view, press 1 on your numpad. Then select all by pressing A. Go to the tab that says shading slash UVs. And select project from view. This is your UV map. I must say, this won't necessarily work for more, for more complicated objects, but it'll work for this plumb up. Now I just want to make my plumb up on the UV map a little bit bigger. Now click anywhere on the area where the UV map is just to give Blender the command that you are working on this area. So to select, I will press letter B on my keyboard and drag it over my plumb up. To scale it, again press S. Once I'm done, I need to take this picture out so that I can edit my texture. So down here, click UVs and export UV layout. Right now you're just saving a regular .png image. Name it as you'd like and save. Now all that's left to do is to save our Blender file. After that, you can go back to the Sensor Studio and import your new Blender file. This looks kind of weird because we still have our old cute little cow texture, um, but we will fix that texture. First though, import your Blender file you just saved to all LODs or level of detail. Once done, you can go to textures 
and I'm just going to first import my UV map to test it and it works. So right now I can just edit this UV map in my photo editor, which for me it's GIMP. You can use really any photo editor that you're comfortable with. What I did is that I just made it a regular green plumb bob. After you're done, save it and import your texture. Make sure you hit save and test it in your game. Okay, so this is our plumb up. Also, ignore these paintings. Actually, you know what? Don't ignore them. These are actually no CC paintings and some of them are up in my gallery, which is Simstina, Simstina YT. In fact, if you want to learn how to make your own paintings, look up the video in the description. I'm getting better at this whole YouTube thing. But yeah, this is how to do simple tracing in a blender. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Any questions, any suggestions, anything really is always welcomed in the comments below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.